Hi everyone, my name is Adam. Today we're going to be covering an interesting topic. I want to talk about taking a person out of one image and moving them on to another image. To achieve this, we need to make accurate selections in combination with layers and layer masks. I also want to stress that most of the time this should function as a last ditch effort. I'm covering this because I get this question quite frequently during workshops. In fact, uh, I was recently talking to a wedding photographer friend of mine that had to basically move a family member that wasn't present into a group shot. Obviously this isn't an ideal scenario, but sometimes your client asks you to do that and that's what you have to do. Selections in general are always going to be easier when you have a very neutral background color. Uh, ideally a background that is out of focus or in fact just a solid color. In this example, I have a photo where we have a bit of white space on the right side where we're going to add a subject from another image. Uh, let's add the second image to our layer panel by dragging it on. To preview what that section of our image would look like, change the blend mode on the top image. I will be using multiply to compare. This allows us to increase the size of the subject we're adding so that it matches the background. We're going to place this image accordingly and increase the bounding boxes as I see fit. The woman on the right, we're going to select and mask to blend into our first image. I'm going to start the process with a rough square selection and then invert it to get everything out of the way other than the person I'm adding. We're also going to copy the first layer and make a selection of the background. Let's take a moment to do this. Once we've made an accurate selection of the background, we'll invert the selection by navigating to Select and Inverse. As with all selections, if our background was more complicated with more granule detail and multiple hues, this would be much more challenging. I'm going to clean up this layer slightly. As you may notice, the edges of the layer have a thin white line where we picked up a bit of the background during the selection process. Once we've cleaned up our subject, I'm going to blend the background a bit better here on our layer 2. The other thing I'm going to do is apply a bit of a shadow on our top layer. Let's also sharpen all of our layers by adding a photo effect and a bit of a vignette. This may aid in reducing any artifacts created during the selection process and make our image seem more uniform and natural. So there you go. That's how I was able to copy someone from one image and add them into another. Couple reasons for our success here. Uh, neutral backgrounds, low hair complexity, and space to incorporate our missing subject. As always, please like, comment, or subscribe for more ACDC tutorial and video content.